everybody. It's Noelia with My Moxie Dreams. Thanks for joining me today. We are setting up our August theme in my pocket moleskin daily. Can you believe we're in August, guys? We are in August. I am still partly in shock. <laughs> if you are new here, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this content. If you do, I would love if you would like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me to have you part of our planner family. For those of you who are my longtime subscribers, hi, I hope you're well. I've missed you guys. Let's jump in, shall we? Here is, if you remember, our July theme, just a beautiful floral girl. We just had some floral backgrounds and um, we'll do a quick flip through of our July. Here is our July girl. And it was these florals. I They were so big if you remember. And then I finally figured out why I didn't like the way it looked and started to cut them down. You can see how big the sticker was. And I just cut the bottoms off and it was more, I don't know, simple and not so ginormous, if you recall. So here is our July. A lot and busy things going on in July. We are barely on the end of the week for July. And I did all the way through the 31st. So we're going to start the first week of August. And um, yeah. So that is why there's a few days in July that are not completed because I'm doing this middle of the week so that I have it up and ready for you guys. I was having a little bit of an issue trying to figure out what I wanted to do. My daughter had invited me to go to see the Barbie movie with all of her friends. So everybody dressed up in pink. I had purchased a pink tutu to wear because I wanted to be with all the group and be in pink. However, I had a really bad headache that day and I was like not feeling well. So what I did was wear a black and white striped shirt with some cute little jeans and some heels to represent the first Barbie ever, which was the iconic black and white bathing suit Barbie. And so when I came back from the Barbie movie, I just thought it was great and I decided that was going to be my theme. So here is my August theme, which is the original Barbie. And then what I did is added scallops on Canva so that I had something to kind of anchor my daily pages. And so we're carrying through the black and white stripe of her bathing suit. And then I'm doing scallop stickers to kind of highlight the dailies. So it's going to be a black and white kind of theme. And I think the color that I'm using here is going to be, I'm going to be playing off her skin tone to do the theme for August. And then it says here, I want to do the imagining, not be the idea. It was one of the lines at the very end of the movie, which by the way, my daughter and all of her friends were bawling at the end of the movie. So that is our theme for August. So I'm just gonna set her there and we will get started by taking out everything for, well, it's not everything. Now I only have the front, the back, and then our, I don't even know where I left her. Did I take her out and lose her? I was planning this morning and I have no idea where my little, dashboard is for July. I have no clue. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to take it out anyway. So let's remove this little guy. So yeah, if you haven't seen the Barbie movie, I wasn't anticipating going, but my daughter and her friends begged me to go. And so I went and it was, it wasn't what I expected. Brian Gosling, I'm telling you, he carried that movie. I mean, Margot was also cute, but I, every time Brian Gosling was on screen, I was just giggling because it was just so funny. So funny. 
at any rate. So yeah, I'm loving this very simple Just make sure this all fits. I'm liking this very simple Barbie, just black and white. You guys know I'm like a floral queen. I love everything floral. And so the black and white on the back and Barbie on the front. Let's put her back in. Yeah, so I just thought it was a really cute movie and thought I would do kind of an homage to Barbie by doing that okay let's go to so we're taking this out we've got this little girl who will fit here I don't know if the glare is there sorry guys I know the glare is always annoying and then we have our August that will get tipped right in there but we will start decorating for the week okay so for the highlighting portion i'm going to be using 990 for the highlighted portion of it and that should kind of like i said bring out the colors her skin tone and then we're just going to go with the scalloped so we'll see how it plays out i may i also have let me see where did i leave it I also have this striped washi. I don't know how I would play this in. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. But for now, let's just start with our 990 and doing the highlighting for the week. Let me just make sure, because you guys know there's been times where I go past where I'm supposed to. Saturday, Sunday, so we don't want to go past the sixth. All right, so. I know I mentioned last time that it's getting much harder to write on this side of the page, even with, I know somebody recommended using my pencil board. It doesn't really work. I wish it did. But like I said, I am learning for next year what I will and will not be doing or what I'll be doing differently. I think I mentioned before too that I ordered from rubberstamps.net some testers stamp testers so I just need to get a an acrylic block that will kind of work all at once you know what I mean like I would have acrylic block and then put put the stamps exactly where I want them so that I can stamp it all at once instead of doing one at a time but I'm still kind of working that out to see how I would do it for next year and we'll see so today we had a funny this morning I should say we had a funny thing happened story time it's quite funny actually it's still funny but it's funny and kind of not funny <laughs> So my eldest son was here and he fell asleep in the living room last night. Um, where's my, I'm gonna do my board. I had to put my board back here cause it was bending and it was driving me nuts. So I will use the board to do our little underlining. So my morning routine is as follows, okay? Ruby, my fat cat, she is always, she always sleeps inside. She just knows by 9, 30, 10 o'clock, they come inside. See how hard it is for me to do this, guys? And even if I were to do this, it just, I'm afraid it's gonna tear. So it's been hard to kind of do this line without it being completely weird. See, it's just, look at that, it's just, not going all the way to the end and it's making me bonkers. So Lucy, who we adopted, kind of she's a, she was kind of just a roundabout cat and we adopted her several years ago. She is like a hunter and she likes to be outside 
some nights she doesn't want to be inside. Most nights in the winter she wants to come in and she sleeps indoors and they both sleep at the foot of my bed. But typically, especially the summer months, Lucy will wake me up at about 3.30, 4 o'clock, probably 4, and she wants to go outside to do her, you know, her little hunting, even though she doesn't. She's really good, but... And so that's kind of the routine. And then she scratches at about 6.30. Their morning meal time is about 6.30 in the morning because that's when I wake up and then I start, I go to the garden and do my gardening stuff, blah, blah, blah. I have been sick. I've mentioned this to you guys for quite some time and I've just been not feeling myself. And at any rate, and I'm a light sleeper, so I will wake up at the slightest sound. Okay, so it's just how I've always been. Because I've been sick, normally I would open the door, let them in or out, close the door, then they would come in, they would scratch to come back in. And it's just like, you know, normally I wouldn't mind, but because I've been sick, I'm just so tired and it's just so hard for me to get up five times in the morning to let the cats in and out. I have a door my, that leads into my um, my door in my bedroom, so it's easy to just open the door and close the door. But it's, like I said, being sick, it's just I have no energy. I've just been zapped. So what I've been doing lately is leaving my bedroom door slightly open so that they can come in and out when they please, and I'm not being woken up every 10 minutes you know, at their whim when they want to come in and out of the house. And that's been working the past week just because, like I said, I, you know, I'm not going to keep saying it. I've just been not myself. So to, and we haven't had any issues with this. Okay. And this morning, it's so funny because my son fell asleep on the couch and uh, in the living room. And this morning, I hear a ruckus at 6.45, 6.44 to be exact. And I'm like, and I just hear my, my son just like yelling and like cussing and freaking out. So I jump up again, half awake to hear the fluttering of a bird slamming against the living room walls. My son has jumped up from where he had fallen asleep last night. And both cats, Lucy and Ruby, are like, you know, hovering over this bird, which I catch. And um, my son was so upset. And mind you, he's like, he freaks out at like a spider. <laughs> so having a full on bird that the cats brought in, or Lucy, because she's the hunter of the group, of the two cats. And it was funny, I was startled awake, so it was, I was like trying to get my bearings, understanding what was happening, and then it was funny, because my son was like so overreacting by the situation. And the cats are like, hey, I just brought you a treat. Which is so funny because normally she brings me the thing. She wants to impress me and she wants to feed me. So she brings me the bird. But I guess because my son was in the living room and she just thought, oh, mom's in the living room. So let me take the bird to the living room. Oh my gosh. And the bird, somehow I trained the cat because she used to bring me dead things. And I would literally cry over these little hummingbirds or birds or lizards. Somehow she got the understanding because I would like yell and scream like, oh, poor bird, poor lizard, that she needs to bring them alive to me because she thinks that I want to kill the prey myself. And thankfully she learned that. And so she brings them alive and then I'm able to catch them and take them outside and they get to live their best lives outside. So I think she was confused by the body that was in the living room and brought the bird to my son rather than me, which I was in the bedroom. So at any rate, catch the bird. My son's like, it was 
charging at me and he was so mad and I'm like I'm so sorry son he's like this is why you shouldn't leave the back door open and he was so upset which rightfully so okay I was just astonished that I hadn't woken up from the cat bringing it in because like I said I'm a super light sleeper I can a pin can drop and I wake up but I've been, like I said, so exhausted. My body's just not its normal self and I was conked out, which is so funny now. But so he proceeds to fall back to sleep. <laughs> I go to the room, I get this bird, take it outside to my pot. I have a potting bench right outside of my patio door. So I sit her there. She's like, her chest is like pumping out. And so I grab her with the little towel and I just start to soothe her. I start petting her head, starting to calm her down. I give her a once over and see she's got two punctures in her chest. So I know she's not gonna make it. So I'm just loving on this bird and just, you know, petting its head, calming her, you know, her heart rate down, which she did. And both cats are sitting outside with me like, oh, go, mom, I brought you a treat. Aren't you happy? <laughs> and so the bird ends up calming herself down enough where she flies away. So I'm sure she went somewhere safe to, she knew, I know she's just not going to make it. She had two huge puncture holes in her chest. So at any rate, I go back to sleep or no, I end up getting up and going into my garden for an hour or so and come inside to my son who's getting ready for work. And he's just like, mom, you know, and he was upset. And I just said, honey, you're, you have a hundred percent, you're a hundred percent right to be upset. I'm not going to, you have a reason to be upset. That's no way to wake up. And I get it. Okay. We're getting our little things. So I made a little bit of the branding so that I can place it on my monthlies, on my tracker monthly, and also on my monthly here. So let's do this part first and then we'll move on. So at any rate, he was super upset. Then he realized that I was, you know, obviously admitting that I was wrong and whatnot. Do I want this big one? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the big one and then we'll do. Cause I have these tinier ones and these big ones, but I think I'm gonna do the big one here. And so, yeah, so he had every reason to be upset. Ugh. So he's, so he's saying to me that it, it charged at me and I'm laughing like, okay, let's, let's calm down and not make, you know, make it bigger deal. Like, yes, you're right. Yes. You know, I should not have. Do I want to put this here? Yeah, I'm going to put it here. Maybe I do a little bit of this. Let's see. I'm just playing around because I don't know what I'm doing, guys. But I want to kind of have a little bit of both. So we'll figure it out. Um, so, <laughs> so he had every reason to be upset is what I'm saying. How do I do this? Should I have done it like this and then lifted this up I don't know we're just playing around with it guys I just want to make it nice and cute okay there's Barbie so anyways he left to go to work and I'm still like laughing I can't wait to I talk to my mom every morning I call her at 9 30 she's at senior living and um, I call her every morning and we just chat about how she slept and what so I could not wait for it to be nine so that I can call my mom and giggle with her about what happened I feel like that's too big but let's try it <laughs> so I'm sitting here drinking my coffee in the living room I'm doing my normal morning plan with me which is you know my banking and whatnot And I get up to go grab something and I notice in the hallway 
that there's blood all over the floor. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and a bunch of feathers. So I go vacuum it up and then I go and spot clean where the blood was. Go sit back down and I'm giggling even more like poor Chris, like he wasn't kidding. Like this, this bird, you know, was bleeding out inside the house. So I go back to sit down, I'm drinking coffee and I don't know, I'm talking to my, I call my mom and I'm talking to her on the phone and I'm like giggling like, yeah, you know, he said that the bird attacked him and this, that, and then I look up for whatever reason to the shutters in my house and the, the whole wall had splatters of blood. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And so I'm looking and the, the bird must have like tried, obviously tried to get away from the cats and she was flailing around. Oh my gosh. I felt so bad for this bird. I felt so bad for the bird. I felt so bad for my son. I was just like, wow, I didn't realize the magnitude of this bird gate that happened this morning at 645 in the morning. It was quite the episode, which was hysterical, but not. At any rate, I called my son who was at work and I just said, I want to tell you I'm really sorry <laughs> for what happened this morning. And I will never have, how do I want to do this? Do I want to, I'm trying to figure out how to do this guys. Do I do it here? I think I'm going to take the washi out. Let's try a big one here. I'm just playing around. So anyways, I after I, I'm on the phone with my mom and I'm proceeding to clean the walls of the bird remnants. I think I need both hands. So let me put this down. Put that down. My little Barbie here. We're gonna put this right in the center. I can't get it to stick straight at least because you guys know. Okay, I can't get this to stay because I have this in my hand. I need both hands. Ah. Okay, there we go, we got it's kind of too much in the August, but I don't think I'm going to be able to lift this up now. Am I? I am. I just don't want it to take over the word August. So we'll put it like this and hope it's straight. We'll put a little bit. I don't want too much of this. I know you guys, I'm a nut. I know, I know, I know. Maybe I do it at the end because we want to put Barbie somewhere, so. Let's put this here. We'll lift this if I can. My word, this is complicated today. Okay, there's the black and white, and then we'll just add the little Barbie that I had here. Where do I want her? Eh, I guess we'll put her right there. I don't know if I like this. I might take this out of this part. I don't know what to do. This is so, I'm spending so much time on this tracker here, guys. Okay, let's put Barbie first. Let's do a bigger Barbie. I think that's what we need to do. Put the Barbie down first. August, there she is. Now we put this here. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. If I'm not, I'm so sorry. And then we'll just do a little a little and I mean little. I don't know if I like this washi. I'm taking the washi out. I don't like her. Okay, maybe I do it over here. I don't know, something's not budging for me. I'm just gonna leave it there until I can figure out what I wanna do, because it just doesn't feel right. The washi there, 
and then this isn't straight. That's going to drive me nuts. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what it is. Lately, I've just not been on it. All right, we're leaving it because we're wasting too much time. This video is going to be 500 minutes long. All right. Okay, let's go. We're done. So let's just do our monthly is here, which I think looks super cute. Our tracker is just missing that, this line, and I don't know what to do. Should I do it here? Maybe I do that. Let's try that. Oh my God, I'm gonna keep going, aren't I? Let's do this, and then I'll just cut it. Sorry if I'm not in camera. So what I did is put it on the bottom, and then I'm just gonna cut it with scissors so that I wanna incorporate that stripe. I'll probably fast forward through this. So here, we're able to incorporate that stripe so that it kind of brings it together. All right, goodness gracious, that took way longer than it should have. Okay, let's go now back to decorate these days with our, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna use that. Okay, let's do the bigs and the littles. I think I'm gonna do the big ones up here. I'm not gonna add Barbie. I only did a few Barbies just because I knew I wanted to at, make sure I remembered the theme for those, you know, months at a glance. And again, no florals this time, just the really pretty scallops for each day. And then I don't think I'm gonna put washi tape I don't know, I just feel like. I don't know where I would put the washi tape. We can try, but I'm not sure. So anyway, that was the morning craziness today. The morning craziness, which was funny and sad. I feel so bad for that bird. And it was, my cat has stopped doing that for quite some time. And then this morning it was just like back at it, which is so sad. Um, but yeah, I apologized to my son and I called him while he was at work and I'm like, oh my gosh, you weren't lying. The bird flew into the wall trying to get away from the cats. And there's, there was just, I mean, the bird everywhere. But I was glad that I got to calm it down enough that it was able to fly away. So sad. All right, I'm going to use these smaller ones. Am I going to be able to use this? To be here just because I don't want to take up a lot of space. So there's that big and small. I've been so behind. I haven't even, I didn't realize that I had not done the weeklies. I still haven't. I did the weeklies for Etsy, but I haven't printed them out for myself for August. I think I'm in denial that we're in August. We are definitely going to be in August. I think I'm going to put it up here. So yeah, that was the eventful morning, which is hysterical. How have you guys been? You guys all been good, hopefully enjoying your summer. How's the weather where everybody is at? We've had bonkers heat waves and then it turns back to cold. It's like the weirdest weather lately. It's so bonkers and my garden, I've had so many beautiful florals, but my tomatoes just won't ripen. And I'm guessing it's because of the, just the bonkers 
temperature that we have. It's either stunted them or I don't know, something's up. Something is up. I don't know if I want to add. I don't think I want to add. I don't think I want to add washi. So we'll see how I end up feeling about it later. later. But right now I don't want to do it. So here, where is she? Where is she? Here she is. So that's what that would look like. So again, I brought that, what number was it? The 990 to kind of match her flesh color, her skin tone. And then did the scallops. This photo that I pulled on from Google, it did not have the scallops. I imported into Canva and added the scallops so that I would have something to anchor my pages with. So that is how that comes out. So there is the theme. Here she is. I want to do the imagining, not be the idea. So pretty. The black and white striping. Here is August. Isn't that beautiful? There's August. There's our August tracker bringing in that Barbie theme the stripes the scallops and then of course the dailies which look gorge all right let's just add in items that I know there's not a lot I just know I have my notary renewal see how hard it is to start Normally I have all this room, but it's so hard. I'm basically writing downward and it's so tough. It looks bonkers. So I'm gonna be at this event. And then the drive home, oh, that's gonna be so yucky. And you guys know I do banking every week. So what I've decided, I have another video coming out on my ring planner. But what I decided is to do the weeklies and tell you a story, a childhood story or something from my past that's either funny or sharing a little bit about myself so you guys can get to know me a little bit better and why I'm the way I am. And that will kind of bond us a little bit, I think, and just funny stories that I remember because things always pop in my head and it's just hysterical. Okay, I don't believe, let me look at my weeklies that I have anything else scheduled that week other than my notary. I just know that I have major, I know my priority here is gonna be MHD books. And then Thursday, I'm gonna make it HFO books. It's just budgets and accounting. And then Friday, I'm gonna make it my Paris books. Paris budget and these are just major things like when I do accounting I have to let's do prep budget because it's payday week payday week does that make sense review bill pay just to make sure everything hit So what, so my bosses are gone for two and a half, three weeks. And so what I'm going to do is spend one whole day doing one entity's books, just cleaning everything up, making sure everything's coded correctly, any kind of outliers, make sure that they're fixed. And so I have three major entities. HFO books contains like five entities in one. Paris is another. And then the design company is another. So 
that's it's gonna be a crazy busy week for me that's all I gotta say all right so with that said our oh we gotta tip in our I'm already forgetting I gotta get some tape and tip this girl in here so let me do that all right let's see if I do this correctly I know I need to do it centered otherwise it'll drive me nuts A little bumpy there all right so there is august isn't she lovely you guys i mean if you haven't gone to see the movie i don't think it's a kids movie per se there's a lot of uh, topics on there that are super cool it was a good movie barbie theme for august black stripes with scallops here's our August month at a glance. Here is our August tracker again. And then we go to August. Here is our theme. Here are our first few days of the week. And here is our dashboard separator for the week. Yay, you guys. I am so excited for this theme. It's super simple, no florals for the first time in a while, just those beautiful scallops and that beautiful 990 neutral kind of color scheme. I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her. So that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my silly bird gate that happened this morning and again if you are new i would love if you would subscribe to my channel and to all of those of you who follow me all the time big hugs i look forward to my next video and chatting with you again have a great day everybody bye